welcome back to the 13th of Remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio. So what we're gonna do today is, besides well, what we did the last time was picking up the weapon, but now we want to throw it. So basically something like this. And of course here we can go for quite huge values, small values, doesn't really matter. But the, the important part is that we are creating kind of a cycle. So let's say for example we have zero ammunition we pick up a weapon it has 40 we are throwing and then boom then we have zero again because hey we are not holding any weapon wouldn't make any sense to have ammunition in your hands with nothing to shoot with and then right mouse button boom and then of course it is updating the value which it was holding this is the uh, well the part we would which we want to clone so therefore a little thing besides uh, doing the project i uh, was asked to share the project file so basically the graphics um, and i guess then the project also on itch.io as a paid project uh, paid thing so in in my opinion hey i can do this i don't see any problems with that of course you can get it by being a patron but if you think eh, i don't want to be your patron one up indie then uh, well no problem you can actually grab it then on itch.io I'm expected to be, I guess, tonight or maybe tomorrow. And then I will just add a link here and then you can uh, get hold of the project and of course all the assets which are inside. And then once you have purchased it, um, I will just update it all the time. So therefore you can um, download then the newest version with, with the newest graphics and all that stuff, which is inside. So basically you will, you will get the whole package as, as such if you want to have it and can grab it uh, via h.io but of course once again you will get it into here in all the videos uh, description boxes so this is just a little information but of course hey just an extra offer so let's go into our project and let's go into hotline clone come on come on come on come on and what we want to do is basically create our web uh, weapon throw object so here we go throw and here we give it at the very beginning a sprite this is a thing which we're gonna cancel later on so basically we just give it this little nice gun and what we want to do is well we want to throw it so therefore the object player we just go into its step event uh, let's go a little bit downwards so we have tons of space and you don't see all the other code which would be distracting and then we say like hey have we released our mouse button so if mouse check button release and then the right mouse button then we create an instance so instance create layer and then xy instances nah not like this and then of course what we want to throw well the newly freshly created weapon throw and for now this wouldn't be well pointless because we want to do something with it and therefore we store it into a variable so throw weapon there we go and here we just give it two values which is for the first one we want to give it a direction value here we go and we can actually use the image angle because the image not angle uh, alpha angle come on because um, the image angle is the value which we are using to well where we are facing with our player and then basically this could be is the same value so we are um, having an image angle which is pointing upwards then it is basically the same value for the direction so therefore we can pass that nicely into our throw weapon and then of course we need to move that thing so we just go let's say a value between i don't know let's go for seven and ten something in between so let's check it out and this already does work hopefully at least all right so for example we are throwing now and as you can see we can <laughs> created some rapid fire but this of course isn't a very satisfying way how to handle that and therefore we need to uh, make this a little bit better and for that we actually have a pretty neat inbuilt value which is called friction 
and friction is pretty sweet because let's go for 0 0.4 hello oh, here we go friction is basically a value which is decreasing all the time one set of the speed value so let's say for example we are throwing something as you can see boom now it will hold it and for example the value is of course a little bit different each time uh, so where the um, throw weapon is landing in the end because we gave it different kind of speed value so here we have some randomness which is always good so the next thing which we want to do is give that thing a little spin so we just say like hey create a variable call it spin and go into the and uh, into the step event so basically we create it and say like hey let's update the image angle of the throw weapon and just say like hey update it by 10 so basically spin of course you can go with a hard value if you like but here i like always to control it with variables this is of course a personal thing and then for example as you can see now this thing is spinning all the time which is good so during throwing it definitely looks better if it is spinning all right then the next thing would be on our agenda to say like hey at some point when we are when we are at our point where we are halting and we want to do something and for that i have a little neat little instruction or illustration rather so basically what we are having is just one value or two values which we are passing in so one is ammunition which we're not going to do in this video tutorial and one a sprite and this sprite is getting once we are creating a throw weapon is getting passed into the throw weapon and then it's containing the sprite and the uh, the ammunition and then for example once this uh, throw weapon is having a speed value which is extremely low or even zero then we are creating once again a pickup weapon which is inheriting from the throw weapon the ammunition and you guessed it the sprite and then for example once we are picking up the weapon boom we're just saying like hey what kind of sprite did it have because then it, it's determining what kind of weapon the player is holding and then of course we give it the ammunition because the ammunition is what we need here in this case and of course ammunition we will do in the next video because i don't want to confuse you guys too much so here first thing we say like hey is our speed value nah, lower than 0 0.01 something like this so let's go for a small value then the first thing we do hey let's get rid of the weapon which we are throwing so instant to destroy so here we go we are um, destroying the thing and of course we want to create an instance instance create because create layer here we go because we want to create a pickup weapon for the player so instances here we go and then we create a pickup weapon because this is what we want to do so here the circle kind of always closes so va pick up here we go and then what we want to do is just say like hey we want to pass in from our throw weapon the sprite index and and use the sprite index from ourselves so here this code just means like hey give the thing so our pickup the same sprite which we are holding so this one which it is it is having so let's go and kill that so therefore they are empty and here we come to a little problem because we want to give the give the weapon a specific sprite index but we don't know what to pass in of course what we can do say like hey default it's always a pistol because hey why not boom and this could work but we need to check from within the player hey what kind of weapon are we actually holding and this is kind of important and for that in our player i just create a, a variable which i just call weapon and for now this is nothing so this is empty and what i want to do is say like hey what kind of weapon is actually the player holding so switch weapon and then he's just saying like hey 
is it for example the pistol so case pistol and break and then we say like cool then the sprite index is for example the pistol or for example something else and for example here or the aka and then it's uh, spr aka here we go and therefore we can copy paste that stuff because hey let's be a little bit lazy in my own videos so here we go as you can see depending what kind of weapon i am holding this does work but it is for now nowhere decided what kind of weapon we are actually holding because at the beginning well the thing is nothing so therefore we need to go into our pickup weapon boom and have a little change so here we just gave it for example the sprite which he is holding but we need to uh, weapon here we go so for example no. We need to when once we picked up a weapon we need to define hey what kind of weapon it actually is so let's make this really fast of course they're not all knife and for example here bat here pistol and for example once we picked up a weapon we actually are giving it the sprite as an overlay and of course the information to say like hey what kind of weapon we are holding so this is then working correctly shotgun let's go for one word sweet yes i use this and therefore now we can actually close this part so this is the good thing but of course we can say like hey once we threw the weapon away because we do right mouse button then we are getting rid of our so therefore we need to nullify it of course if we are throwing it away it, for example it doesn't really matter if we have if we are replacing it with another one because we are hovering over it or if we, or if we just want to throw it away anyway so here this uh, stuff will happen simultaneously depending what kind of circumstances we are having so let's check this out hopefully this does work already okay so what you're seeing it we are throwing a uh, pistol but the point is we have no weapon equipped so for example let's equip this one and then we are throwing it then it is still a pistol this is great this shouldn't be <laughs> not sure what the issue is actually now let's see and go into our pickup weapon aha i know where the culprit is we need to pass it into our player so here other 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 interesting that it actually ran without problems because this variable actually doesn't exist inside huh. okay so let's check it out once again rookie mistake so for example we are throwing still guns this is expected i will show you why that is maybe you already know what's actually going on we are picking up this weapon aha it does work so what is actually happening here well we have a little thing we can always throw a weapon even though we have none equipped so therefore we need to say like hey if we are for example having no weapon uh, let's actually go like which one let's go for this one it doesn't really matter so this this can go twofold and we're saying like hey have we released the right mouse button and the sprite which we have as a weapon sprite is not the empty one this is kind of important because let's say mm -hmm, this is wrong and of course once we threw our weapon away we want to get rid of our sprite which we're having so let's check this one out and now we should be finished with the swapping so let's say right mouse button nothing is happening good we are picking up a with right mouse button a weapon and now we can throw it this is what we definitely wanted and for example we have one weapon equipped and we want to pick up this one and throw the other one away as you can see now we swapped it and for example if we have just this one equipped and we want to throw it away and boom we have none equipment therefore we 
created the circle which is allowing us to equip and throw and use the right mouse button for equipping and also throwing at the same time this is our main goal so we're gonna i'm gonna stop this one uh, for today and tomorrow i guess tomorrow in the next video tutorial we will do the ammunition swapping which is just easy peasy also so have a good one one up indie